Hello guys, Burning Games back here again, and rejoice! Bionicle Reviews, I've returned to the channel! So yeah, we're gonna be starting off with a big one. Rocco T3. It is set number, um, 8941. Contains 390 pieces, and I believe at time release went for about $40. So yes, this is one of the 2008 Titan sets, making it the oldest Bionicle set I own today, to date, I own. So, and, yeah, take a look at the packaging here, you can see the old Bionicle logo with the, um, little symbol of the Mask of Life right there. Rocco T3. Nice picture of the actual vehicle right here. Down here, you can see what it includes. The basic information about the set. On this side, Bionicle again, some info. On the other side, Bionicle Lego and set number and the Rocco. And on the back, you can see the gimmicks of the Rocco. You can see how you can hold it by the. That has a handle and you can hold it like that. Picture of the rider and the actual Rocco itself. And then right here, you can see the jet tracks. And the Axel, the Jetrex T6, and the Axelara, the other figure, the other vehicles from the wave. So yes, let's take a look at the actual set itself. So take a look at this. You can see it's pretty decently sized. Um, however, before we actually get into the set itself, of course, we are going to have to take a look at the figure that it comes with. We'll take a look at the figure that it comes with. Okay. Ah. Oh, there was a pin in there. So yes, here we have our writer. This is Pohatu. He is one of the original six Toa. This is a ver this is his 2008 variation right here. More specifically his Mystica variation, and you can see He's pretty decently sized. He's a Toa. You probably know what's... So, yeah. So, yeah, he's he's decently sized. Um, you can see we get a lot of orange. His mask is orange. All of his armor is orange. This back piece is orange. And his feet are orange. So, yeah, this guy's a lot of orange on him. He also has quite a bit, a good amount of gray. His eyes are green, and he has a blue visor, which is a separate piece to his mask. His mask is, um, the Kanohi Kakama, Mask of Speed. And yeah, it looks kind of like a respirator. Here's the actual visor, by the way. Nice, translucent visor. So yeah, just put this over it. Ugh. And yeah, he uses a standard Nika build, which is the standard build for most Bionicle sets. Which is the standard build for most Bion for most Bionicle sets. And then, yeah, articulate. It involves a front plate, a back plate, and then everything just builds off of that. It's often criticized for being very simple, however, personally, I really like it because of how much articulation it gives them. This is, the Unica build gives them quite a bit of articulation. So, we of course have a ball joint at the head. Um, ball joint at the wrist. Bend at the elbow. Also, you can go to side to side a little bit. Ball joint at the shoulders. Ball joints at the hips. Ball joints at the... One's again another... Well, one's gonna bend right here at the knee. Also gonna go from side to side. And a ball joint at the feet. So, yeah. That is Pohatu. So, yeah. That's Pohatu. Yes, he's our... He's our little rider. So, we'll put him aside for a minute. And now, we will take a look at the actual Rocco itself. Like I said, this is a big, big, um, vehicle. Um. 
you can see right here on the front a lot of technique go just right just looking at it you can see a lot of technique going on you can see there's a little launcher down there some blades right here at the front wings more some more blades back here wings back here thin right here wings these are um Anika shoulder plates in Anika shoulder plates in lime green um of and the ammo doesn't actually fall off when you fall out when you turn it upside down due to this little blue piece right here, this little pin. So yeah. And you can see Bodok shields right here on the side. Some jetpack right here on the back, which has to thrusters, one massive thruster back here. And overall, for what they could do at the time, it's a very nicely detailed set. It's a very nicely detailed set. It's nice and sturdy and doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. Um so yeah. Um, and of course you can hold it right here, which is how I am holding it currently. So yeah. Now let's get into it. Now, look. The color scheme is, well, first off, the color scheme is very nice. It's a combination of silver, dark green, gray, and light green. And, li and lime green. It's a very nice, it's a very nice combination and it looks really good. And especially works well with, and it strangely works very well with Pohati's Orange. So yeah. Um, coming to the back, so yeah, onto the gimmicks. See this little bit right here? Rotate it and, bam, battle load. So yeah, I can see a couple of, the wing, these bits fold down, become sort of like blades. Little cannons, little laser things are revealed right here. And the move, yeah. It also reveals these blades right here, which I don't know when these were first used. If anyone can tell me, please do. I know for sure that these blades back here were first used on, um, Matoro, no, not Mat Matau, Metru, excuse me. Um, and I believe these were used on Kopaka. They might have been used on another set, though. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they were used on Kopaka. Um, I know that the wings were used on Kopaka, though. So, yeah. Um, let me see. So, I forgot to mention, um, I believe this piece is new in silver. This piece is new in, uh, I believe these pieces are new in silver. This piece is new in silver. And, yeah, I believe that's it for new piece colors. Um, also, yes, it spins. Um, so, yeah. And you can further see how much Technic is used in this thing. You see a blade right in here. Um, so, yeah. Now on to the launcher gimmick. Yes, this figure has a launcher, has actually has a launcher in it, as I showed you right here. So, you see this little bit right here on the side? Well, when you pull that, and yeah, and I lost one out. Just like, never mind. I'll get that later. However, yeah, comes with five standard Zamor spheres. Recolored to be silver. These are not new in this color. They were they were out during the previous wave. So yeah, just put these back in the launcher. Mm. It's like where's oh there it is. We got six. Excuse me. Okay, just a second. Where, oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh, I'll forget about it for now. Some of, yeah. Now, so yeah, those are the gimmicks, color scheme, and basic design. Now on to the little cons. Um, little cons that get on people's nerves. All the blue and red on this thing. Loads of blue pens, loads of red axles, which you can expect from a from a set like th like this. Um, personally, I don't mind them. 
Um, uh, personally, I don't mind them as much as other people do. Um, besides, you could really say that blue is a different shade of green, so it does fit in a bit better. And to be honest, and to be honest, I think the red complements Pohatu perfectly fine. Um, another issue. Um, another issue that a lot of people may have with the set is Pohatu himself. Um. He's an Anika build, which at this point has been used for 2006, 2007, and in this case, 2008, and would later go, go on to be used in 2009. Nine, and, and the first wave of Hero Factory, so it was used for five years. So, yeah. You can probably imagine a lot of people... Um... As you can probably imagine, a lot, a lot of people got tired of the Anika build. And, to be honest, I can sort of see why. It's, it's pretty basic, but eh, I like it. It's, it's a good, if, if it works, it works. Um, and the Anika build definitely works. And you can get a lot of great poses out of it. Which actually helps us mount, mount this guy onto his vehicle. Which helps us mount this guy onto his vehicle. It wasn't really until the Anika build was introduced that we could have overly complicated vehicle sets like this. Previously, we had the Exotoa, which really didn't require any knee bending. And the same thing goes for the Boxor, which was really required for Matoran. For, made for Matoran, respectively. Pacific, spe it was specifically made for Matoran, which are only about this big and have no knee and el or elbow articulation. So yeah, and then there was Lesevic's little jet thing, which even then, it didn't have a seat. So, I would consider the set one of the first of its kind. And also, one of the last of its kind, considering that vehicles like this would only last for one more year. Um, Hero Factory went back to Omnitorn, which didn't have elbows or knees. And, yeah. So, yeah, overall, I really like this set. It's fun, it has a, it has a really good, it has a very nice figure in my opinion. I actually, I really like this figure. Um, um, uh, it has some great gimmicks in it. It, even though it did frustrate me at first, once I finally got the hang of it, the build was actually very fun. Was actually pretty fun. The build was actually pretty fun. Um, it was actually pretty fun. And overall, if you can find this set for a decent, if if you can find this set for a decent price, I would recommend you um. You pick it up. You would. You will not be, be disappointed. It's a very, very nice classic Bionicle set. So yeah. Um. Overall, this. Like I said, I like this set. I think. Uh. And. T yeah. It was. It's definitely worth the. So yeah. If you can find it for a good price, definitely pick it up. And yeah. I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!